この店の特徴は大量の展示台数を誇ることビッグモーターの生成系問題ですクリーンで明るい店内はこれまでの中古車販売の油臭いイメージを払拭するライバル企業の社員を合法したとしてビッグモーター社員の男が逮捕されました仕事の信念は誠実ということですね代表取締役社長を辞任することといたしました This is the story of how a billion dollar Japanese business imploded overnight. If you've ever been to Japan, you've probably seen this sign. They're the largest used car dealership and repair chain in the country. They're everywhere. Big Motor, or as they say it in Japan, started as a single store in Yamaguchi, but now boasts over 300 locations. Despite its near billion dollar valuation, Big Motor is still a family business ran by this guy who founded the company in 1976. But as he started to age, he had a very difficult decision to make. Who would succeed him at his company? After years of deliberation, he followed in the footsteps of many other powerful leaders and chose the most qualified candidate. Nah, just kidding. He hired his son. Who wouldn't hire this guy? At the start, this actually seemed like the best business decision ever. Big Motor had been around for 35 years, but they'd never seen growth like this. Koichi's hiring brought Big Motor into a new golden age. Within three years, the company doubled in size. This made Daddy happy, so as a treat, he promoted Koichi to vice president. And over the following years, the insane growth only continued. Whatever Koichi was doing, it was working. But some negative Nancys did start asking questions like How can a business sustain such insane growth? And what is Koichi doing that's so effective? Well, it's a little business trick called widespread fraud. In 2023, a video leaked showing a big motor garage manager teaching an employee how to pop customers' tires. They would only pop one, but say the tires must all be worn and sell a full new set of four, netting 12,000 yen. Now, you must be asking, why would anyone be dumb enough to film something so blatantly illegal? <laughs> well, it was actually self study material. At the same time Big Motor was creating problems just to solve them, they were actually only pretending to solve customers' real problems. A leaked screenshot from an internal group chat showed an employee saying things like, Just tell them you changed their oil, it'll be fine. These leaks got people talking, which encouraged other ex employees to share their stories. It quickly became clear that Big Motor wasn't run by Lex Luthor, it was run by Mr. Krabs. Hello, I like money. But that was just the tip of the iceberg. Things were about to get a lot worse for Big Motor. Look at this lot before Big Motor moved in. Now look at it after. Notice the difference? What about this one? Japanese internet detectives started noticing that trees all over the country started to mysteriously wither and die when they were blocking the view of Big Motor's beautiful used cars. The Tokyo government investigated and, to no one's surprise, found plant killer in 9 of 14 Big Motor soil samples from the city. Big Motor killed so many trees that they were caught red handed multiple times by the Google Maps car. I cannot believe it. Apparently, Daddy's little boy was so obsessed with making his used cars visible from the street that he would go around to each Big Motor location and demote managers who had plants growing outside. The tree killing was so absurd that it even inspired cosplayers. But it doesn't just end there. If you think killing trees is crazy, let me tell you this guy was a real piece of work. The worst thing that could happen to you while working at Big Motor is to hear that Koichi was coming. This happened multiple times per year, and it meant that everyone needed to stay at work until 3 a.m. the night before getting the store ready. When his car pulled up, everyone needed to greet him in a loud voice. <coughs> One employee told a story that when his manager went out for the greeting, Koichi was relieving himself in the parking lot facing nearby residences and got mad at the manager for interrupting him. His standards were insane. One manager was demoted for a cigarette butt found in the gutter outside. You could be fired for having an unclean desk. He would obsessively check your sales numbers and your Google reviews. So when inspection day came, employees would be working overtime solving CAPTCHAs all night. Because you really didn't want to get on Koichi's naughty list. And no, that's not just an expression. He had a group chat with all 300 store managers where he would rank each store's sales and shame poor performers. Some logs have been leaked from these group chats. They're pretty crazy. The worst, but also most memed one, is this one where he just keeps saying, Kyo iku, kyo iku, kyo iku. Shikei, shikei, shikei. 
教育教育教育死刑死刑死刑死刑教育教育教育や,や,やばれビッグから一番ウルマオールならビッグモー教育魂死刑死刑死刑死刑死刑死刑死刑死刑死Koichi set an insane target of 140,000 yen per vehicle repair job. Yes, any customer at Big Motor was expected to spend at least a thousand US dollars fixing their vehicle. This created a toxic work environment that pitted managers against employees. In this leaked photo, a Big Motor manager tied a phone to his employee's head with elastic bands to punish him for not making enough sales calls, then posted the picture in the group chat to make fun of him. Here, a Big Motor employee's ID badge was heavily vandalized by his manager, who wrote insults all over it. Okay, surely that's all of it, right? Big Motor fakes repairs, kills trees, and abuses their employees. What else could they even do at this point? Well, if you gotta give them something, big motor managers are very creative. One of their signature tricks was to use customers' personal information to impersonate them, call around to rival shops, and cancel all appointments under that name. Another clever trick was to sell cars to their own employees. Joining Big Motor was like pledging to a fraternity, and the hazing ritual was buying a car. You want a stressful sales job with an abusive boss where you could get fired at any moment? Sure, the only requirement is a 10 year loan with 9% interest on a used car. An ex employee was on the news saying that his boss gave him 30 minutes to buy a car or he was fired. All of these money making and cost cutting tricks helped Koichi inflate Big Motor's sales over the years. But all of it pales in comparison to the main scam, the one that truly helped them become a billion dollar player. When this manager was popping tires, he wasn't actually selling them to the customers, he was billing them to the insurance companies. <laughs> When the customer had insurance, Big Motor always milked the job for as much as they could. They knew the most expensive things to damage to jack up the bill. They would use sharp objects to extend scratches, draw in damage with chalk, use candles and sandpaper to damage the car, and put a golf ball in a sock and use that to whack the car, increasing the size of dents. This made people see these old Big Motor ads in a whole new light. <laughs> Someone even started selling big motor new employee starter kits online. Seriously though, a question you might have is, don't insurance companies pay inspectors to stop this kind of fraud? How were they deceived so easily by golf balls, sandpaper, and screwdrivers? Well, that's the most important question of this video. Let's talk about car insurance in Japan. There are three major players, Tokyo Marine, Mitsui Sumitomo, and Sonpo Japan. And in 2021, a whistleblower approached them and told them exactly what Big Motor was doing. Concerned, the insurance companies asked Big Motor what was going on. Big Motor took this very seriously. They asked the most competent detective they knew to look into it. <coughs> yeah, they investigated themselves. Big Motor quickly came back with their conclusions. Nah, it's just a few overworked employees making mistakes. It's not coordinated. Sompo Japan reviewed the report and agreed with the conclusions? What? How? Well, let's just say that Sompo and Big Motor had a few mutual interests. By mutual interests, I mean Sompo was the biggest shareholder outside of CEO Hiroyuki. And second, before Daddy brought Koichi into Big Motor, he had him work at Sompo for a year. And when Koichi moved to Big Motor, he brought 37 Sompo employees with him. So clearly they were more than just friends. But their relationship goes deeper than that. Ex-employees claim that Sompo and Big Motor had a secret agreement. Sompo would overlook Big Motor's suspicious insurance claims, and in return, Big Motor would prioritize selling Sompo over the other two insurance companies. Customers generally don't care who provides their insurance as long as they have it. The 37 employees actually helped with this. 
A representative from Sompo taught our staff how to photograph damage to make it look worse, including tips like capturing scratches from certain angles to make them appear deeper. Over 40% of Big Motor's insurance repairs were fraudulent. This netted Big Motor 10 billion yen over five years. So in the end, everyone won except for the customer whose premiums were going up due to the larger than necessary insurance claims. Anyways, when Sompo agreed with Big Motor's no-fault conclusion, it set off some red flags for the other two insurance companies who started their own investigations. Obviously, they found tons of fraud. They tried to report it to the public in 2022, but Big Motor retaliated. A leaked email showed that they immediately gave an order to stop selling insurance for the other two companies. This all came out in July, and it's still dominating the news cycle today. Japanese people were furious because they finally understood why their insurance rates have been going up so much recently. On July 25th, Hiroyuki held a press conference where he apologized and said he didn't know the extent of what was going on. He announced both him and his son were stepping down, but Koichi hasn't appeared in public or apologized even once since this scandal broke. You can probably tell that because I only have two videos and one picture of him. But yeah, his dad has completely taken the fall. By the way, the most impactful moment of this press conference was when Hiroyuki was talking about how employees were caught using golf balls in socks to damage cars. For some reason, he thought it was a good idea to say, that is sacrilegious to golf lovers everywhere. <laughs> it's like, bro, are you trying to make a joke during your apology for insurance fraud? Anyways, since the scandal broke, it's been bad news after bad news for Big Motor. Their profits are way down because nobody in their right mind would trust them with their car. Four Big Motor locations have already closed. The new CEO is scrambling to put out fires, including a Big Motor employee making headline news for assaulting a rival company employee. The FSA, Japan's equivalent of the SEC, announced massive investigations into both Big Motor and Sompo. Police forces all over Japan have already raided 21 big motor locations, including their head office, for tree killing, confiscating tons of cardboard boxes worth of stuff, including shovels, weed eaters, and leaf blowers. One of the largest concerns regarding this whole affair was, how would it affect the Japanese economy overall? Big Motor was the largest in the used car market, but what about their competitors? How could they compete if they weren't fraudulent too? And just how complicit were the insurance companies? Well, on September 6th, it was revealed that Next Stage, the number two in the used car market, was just as fraudulent as Big Motor. Their CEO resigned on the 11th. That's not all. Another competitor called Good Speed was exposed as well. As for the insurance companies, the CEO of Sompo held a press conference on the 8th and admitted that he continued working with Big Motor despite knowing about their fraud. He resigned that day. This story is still developing, so if you guys want, I can post updates in my Discord. Thanks for watching, and thanks to my patrons. See you next time.